Because toxic family is toxic. But that's a story for a different day. Yeah, that's my super cute and handsome fiancé. Ooh. Yeah, tonight I had a uh, chicken sausage. I had chicken sausage with... What was it? It was chicken sausage with the cauliflower pasta. And it was a tomato super blend seasoning. So... It was fine. The, the chicken sausage was delicious because it was like garlic and spinach chicken sausage. But the, the cauliflower pasta is fine. It's just not so great. Not so great. That's That was fun. Good job, Automod. Automods, roll out. Ba-ba-ba-ba. Thank you. This is Calix's, um, this is Calix's little Pascal the Avocado. Yeah, we have link permissions up. So if you want to post a link, just ask permission from uh, one of the mods. We got, we've gotten trolled here a couple times, so... So we, we're very cautious with people getting to share links. If you guys have projects you want to share, you can always share them in the Discord. And we'll, we'll check them out. We'll check them out. I just got my big scroll mount today for my RuPaul project, you guys. Can I tell you? I am very excited. I'm very excited. We are going to work, work, work it. Kitty girl, it is your world. I'm very, I'm very excited to start the RuPaul piece. I honestly was thinking about doing it tonight, but I'm like, I can't, I can't start a fourth, pro a fifth project because I also have the dragon. The dragon's not done yet either. Oh, I'm going to play thread chicken a little bit here, but it's okay because I still have to do one more row at the bottom. If I was smart, I'd tie this off right now. I still, Duo, Duo was super kind and like showed me how to do... A, a better way of ending my stitches, but I still... This one's got a real messy bottom because I was drinking last night and I didn't care. <laughs> pin stitch! Yeah, pin stitch. That's what it is. Pin stitch. I think we'll probably use pin stitch with RuPaul. For this one, since it's already got a messy bottom, we might as well keep having a messy bottom here. You know how we feel about messy bottoms. Yeah, because RuPaul is an 8x10 piece and it's solid. It is solid stitches. The nice thing is the colors are very much blocks of color, so they'll be um, not very much confetti. I did that purposely when I made the pattern. I didn't want a lot of confetti. <laughs> Duo, I've watched you. <laughs> I've watched you struggle with your confetti too much. <laughs> I made that pattern was like, no confetti. As little confetti as possible. <laughs> Having a messy bottom from drinking can mean lots of things. It's very true. You're not, you're not very wrong, Runner Five. That's true. This will be our last row here, and then I'm gonna attach. Oh, that's such a bummer. It's only four stitches. Ah, oh, do I dare play thread chicken with this? Do I dare? We should start, we should start a counter instead of my ouch counter. We should start um, a thread chicken, a thread chicken counter to see like how many times I win or lose the thread chicken. What do you, what, what do you do with cross stitches? Well, actually here's, here's my thing. So one of the things that I really love to do in this channel, especially is I like to be philanthropic. Um, we usually host two to three philanthropy based events throughout the year. Next one is in June for Trevor Project. We did one for Children's Cancer Research Fund in February. I think my year-end fundraiser this year is actually going to be a little auction of all of the pieces I've made this year. And so I'm thinking, excuse me, I'm thinking of putting them all up and for like every five dollars you get an entry into a drawing for that piece. So each piece will have its own 
um, its own raffle, if you will. However, because we have to get around gambling laws, you'd be able to use channel points as well to be able to put in for whichever piece you want. So um, all the money at the end of that would then go to the chosen charity. I haven't chosen a charity for the end of the month, for the end of the year. I'm thinking it might be an animal welfare charity. We haven't done an animal welfare charity yet. Um, my big three mains for me are cancer research, uh, mental health and LGBT aid, and, um, and animal charities. So don't look at my bottom here, you guys. This bottom is so bad. I'm just gonna tie this. I'm gonna be the laziest stitcher ever. But yes, I'm thinking that at the end of the year, for maybe the month of November and December, we'll see how how and when the timing is. Um, we'll auction off all of the P. <laughs> don't look at don't look at my bottom. Don't. There is the I got booty quote. I don't remember which is the I got booty quote. <laughs> We've talked about how cat cat has a cat has a peach. Um. But yeah, I'm thinking about doing that at the end of the year because I make all of these and like, I don't mind selling them, but honestly, if I can use what I make all year long to go towards a charity um, and help a charity out and like give these homes with people who wanted to help support those charities, that makes me super happy. Everyone close your eyes quick. Oh no. Why, what are we closing our eyes for? Ooh, I got that hydrate from earlier. Sorry, I missed that until just now. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking about doing that where I can auction off um, all the pieces for this year for charity. So that would include, um, I probably am keeping the fossil for myself because I love it, but I want to do the New Horizons leaf. Um, and I want to do, I did the hands, the hands holding the cup of coffee and then the donut worry piece. And then hopefully I'm actually going to do one specifically for um, Trevor Project and that will be listed as a giveaway for the Trevor Project as well. It's going to be a punch needle project that is a really pretty rainbow heart. So that I'm gonna actually start this weekend with Calyx. So you guys uh, need to know one thing and one thing only about this weekend is it is Calyx's birthday on Saturday. And so we need to all go love and support her as best we can. We love us a Calyx. And um, for part of the evening, I'll be hanging out stitching with her. She's gonna teach me how to punch needle via the internet. <laughs> oh yes, don't look away. Don't look at my bottom. Don't look at my bottom. You cannot look at my bottom. Cowboy, are you gonna do something with her? Are you gonna play? Are you gonna play with Calyx too? Are you playing with Calyx? Yeah, this is just for four stitches and I'm kind of, kind of annoyed with this. I'm not gonna lie. One, two, three, so we're here. Good night, Savas. It's so, so, so lovely of you to drop in and say hi. I know it's super late for you and you are super tired. Please, please, please go get some good rest. Have some wonderful dreams and we will see you when you are rested and well again. You're gonna play with kids too. She is going to be doing some craft and I'm gonna be doing, oh, I'm so excited. That's awesome. You know what, let me craft the charity. It's for future mental health. Focus on pain. My rent of the future when I can finally move out. That's cool. See, for me, I own my home. I have a stable income. I also have Twitch. Um, so I like to be able to do what I can to give back. I don't always have a ton of money to be able to donate to charity myself. Um, so finding ways to encourage others to support charities that are worthy and worthwhile to me um, is a big thing too. You guys might know, um, da -da 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 -da, I'm trying to think. Um, I am one of the co-creators of Team Chaotic Good. We are a philanthropy based team. We are not an official charity to stream on Twitch because none of us are partnered. <laughs> Um, but someday, maybe, maybe someday, one of us will get partnered and we'll be able to make an official Twitch team. Until then, we are, um, until then we are as official as we can be. We have all the social media sites out. We're actually going to do member rollouts soon. 
Um, so watch social media for those because we're going to be highlighting the members and the new affiliates to the program um, ahead of our June fundraisers. But I'd still like to get back to the world so I'm down to donate my expensive hobby. See, that's awesome. I've actually had people when I told them about this project, um, I've had people who are like, can I like, can I donate a piece for you to auction off? And honestly, if you wanted, if you really do, if you want to contribute something to help us fundraise, just shoot me a message, um, either via Discord or the cat is a lie at gmail.com or DM me on Twitter, um, but reach out because I'm going to see if we can make this a really, really big event. I think it would be great. And if we can, we're going to do it every year. Thanks for throwing up the socials. I appreciate it. Please don't look at the messy bottom. Ignore the messy bottom. There's nothing to see here. Move along. Move along. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Oh, I didn't turn off my autofocus. I told you guys, it's been a rough day. She's been a rough one today. Let me turn off. I thought I turned off autofocus. Mother butts. Gosh. <laughs> you guys, I need to make a clip collage, a clip collage of all of the creative ways that I swear. Uh, TikTok loved that. TikTok loved that. Hey, hey, Magpie. Look what I'm drinking out of. Mmm. I have to hold it by the top because the glass is too slippery. But, mmm. Hey, it's mom's butt. I totally shrimp you. I shrimp you, bae. But yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> you should, you should see my bottom up close, meep. <laughs> I am, I'm being lazy with this project, mostly because I am putting a back on it. I will be putting a back on it, so I haven't been too particular with how the butt looks. New poll started. Is this the messiest bottom you've ever seen? Place your bets, everybody. Place your bets. Um, but yeah, I think, in, I think that's what we're going to do this year. I think we're going to do all the pieces that I make throughout the year. Um, we will do an auction at the end of the year for for charity. And I'm really excited about that because it gives me an excuse to keep working on my hobbies. <laughs> I'm back on my bottom. Mm, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. The world may never know. All right. What, uh, what do people do with cross stitches in general? Okay, well, that's... A little bit of a loaded question. I have two behind me, actually. There's two on display behind me in hoops. Um, a lot of people will make like gallery walls out of their pieces. I've seen people who put seasonal ones out throughout the year. Um, some people frame them like in picture frames so they can display them throughout their home. Some people like direct decorative hoops. Um, I've seen really small cross stitches turned into to jewelry or like patches for clothing. Um, because literally we could whip stitch around the edge of this and put a backing on it and make it into a patch. So there's a lot of stuff that you can do with cross stitches other than, you know, make them as cool gifts to give to your friends and family. Um, which is obviously a cool thing to do. Yeah, patches are really cool because all you would have to do is put a piece of felt behind this, whip stitch around the whole thing, trim it down, add a backing. There you go. You got a patch. If you don't want a patch, glue a pin back to it. There you go. Got a pin. Hi, my love. Hi, my love. Can I help you? Can I help you? Look what I found. Look what I found. Hi. Mm. Thank you. It's a chunky little lump. <laughs> it's a chunky little lump right here. Mm. You stink. You're getting a bath this weekend, buddy. You're stinky. You know you're stinky. Do you know you're stinky boy? You stinky boy? Oh, my baby puppy. Yeah, you're a stinky boy. He's just leaning on my shoulder. It's like, mom, 
Mama love. Mama love. <laughs> Actually, we have found that with Rupert, since we started using warm water in his bath, like almost hot, he likes his baths a lot better. We were using like lukewarm, give a baby a bath in this water water. And he, he'd always like be restless, but we started giving him actual like hot bath water and he's, he pretty happy. <laughs> oh no, Gib. No Gib's having fun with poles tonight. Yes, I'm running this whole thread all the way across to the other side. Again, I'm putting a bottom on it. Don't worry about it, you guys. Don't worry about it. I'm glad you're in a weird mood. I love it. I love it. I should have painted my nails for you guys again. They're getting a little chipped. You're my friends now. We're having soft tacos later. Hey, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on into the Prito family. Kick back, relax, enjoy your soft tacos. You're my and, friends uh, now. We're having soft tacos later. Thank you for that follow as well. Dual follows. I love it. You guys, we are going to do something fun when we hit 3,000 followers, too. Uh, we're, we're not that far away. We're, we're like 200 follows away, which I think we could definitely do by the end of the year. I definitely think we could do that by the end of the year. Welcome on in. If you want to say hi, tell us a little bit about yourself. What are your hobbies? Do you like to craft? Do you like to game? If you want to stay in lurk mode, please, 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 please feel free to do so. All right. So that's the bottom half down here. Um, should we fill his little cheeky cheeks in? I think we're going to fill his little cheeky cheeks in. We're going to fill some little cheeky cheeks in. We've got how much? Four minutes left in our battle. If you guys got any, any dudes to throw out on the dance floor, you would appreciate it. <laughs> yes, with all this bottom talk, we're definitely up to the cheeks. Definitely up to the cheeks. Do do do. All right, so let's do some cheeks since we've been since we've been talking about booties all night. Let's do some cheeks. I'm going to do some cheeks. Yeah, she's getting rosy cheeks, or he's getting rosy cheeks. Pascal is apparently a man. A man vacado. Of mancado? Of mancado. Does that sound right? I mean, technically, an avocado has no gender, it is a fruit. Avocabro! <laughs> Avocado. You guys, these are all so great. McDasher, that was amazing. That was amazing. That was amazing. You guys, three minutes left. Join that link. Throw some people out on that dance floor. We only have 18 out for a level three battle. I have a feeling we're going to lose. But we have Cowboy, and Cowboy tends to always save our butt. So no pressure, Cowboy. No pressure. <laughs> Tee hee bottom. Oh, you guys, that was awesome. That was awesome. Who gendered an avocado? Well, I mean, its name is Pascal, so I can't really. I guess we should just we should just let, let Pascal be what Pascal wants to be. Yeah, you're totally a noob at Stream Raiders. You're totally a noob. I've never seen you play before. Is this your first night? This is totally your first night. Hi, I'm new. They then pronounce for, for an avocado. I think you're right. I think you're right. The joke was that she should have made him as uh, guacamole for Cinco de Mayo. 
You're also stitching right now. Ooh, what are you stitching? If you would care to share what you are stitching, you can always jump into the Discord, join the hobby channels and share it, and we will we'll show the class. There's no class. I mean, unless you guys are the class. I know I have no class, so let's get that clear. Welcome back. Crocheting a bye beanie, that's awesome. That is awesome. Yeah, I was trying to decide which flag, which pride flag to do. Um, and then I decided just to do the, the regular one. You're classy. Are you classy though, Magpie? Are you? I can't wait to curl up in my mermaid tail blanket tomorrow and, and crochet or knit or do whatever. I'm so excited. I was trying, I mean, I was trying my best to be nice about it. Trying my best. Went to get McDonald's. Ooh, what was your order at McDonald's? What did you get? What did you get? Epic Paladin out on that dance floor. Thank you so much. You guys were up to eight skin points too. Don't forget that you can you can get our happy little our happy little guy. I actually I should put him on here somewhere, shouldn't I? Don't you think? I should put him on here. I'm gonna I'm gonna put him on here. He's on my desktop. Where are you at, bro? There you are. Look at him. Look how cute he is. There he is. Now you can have him out there. Double collar pounder with cheese and a Dr. Pepper. That's very close to my order. I usually get a Diet Coke, but I like that. That's a good meal. Delicious. Points for your skin, right? Right? Who doesn't like points for your skin? Okay, battle is ready. I did not hear the music. Give me two seconds, I'll do these stitches. 20 units, hopefully they're strong. Hopefully they're strong. I don't know what, I'm gonna flip over to the screen here quick. What should we do? What should we do? What spell should I put out? What spell? Hi, hello. Can I, I just need to stick you in the hole, please. I just wanna get, can I just, can I just? <laughs> ah! Fine, I'll go the other way, it's easier. Well, of course, fries, fries are the best part. Two brat burgers, delish. Yeah, I ate a burger, I ate a burger with whole grain yesterday. I should have eaten it plain, but whatever. Um, Let's see, what do we have down here? We've got archers, rogues, a mm, little bit of everything. Should we? I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put high ground out just cause why not? I don't know. Cowboy's gonna say like, no. He's gonna be like, no, that's wrong. That's not how you play this game. There you go, cowboy. <laughs> uh, hang on, let me turn the, turn the amazing music back on. I turned it off before. We'll put it, uh, we'll put it up at, let's put it at a uh, 69%. What do you guys think? 69%? I think so. All right, here we go. Ready? Oh my God, I want it so bad. I need money though, bronze. After the wedding, probably. Magpie, thank you so, so much. 23 months. Oh, you guys, we're actually gonna win this. Look at us go. Look at us, we won. Good job, us. Uh, no Gabe with the most kills, Dreary Duck with the most assists. 
we got Maritime Max with the item reward. Six gold coins to everyone else plus whatever else is in your chest. Way to be a bunch of bamps, you guys. There was somebody behind me. I know it was pretty terrifying. It was pretty terrifying. For a moment there, I wasn't sure what was going to happen. I was a, a feared for my life. Let's put our, our flag bearer on this screen too. We're gonna put him right here, cause when we get more skins, then we can put we can put them all in here. There's our little our little flag bearer. Hi Jade, it's so good to see you. I think you do know Jade. All right, here we go. Crates full of slime. What are they stacking the slime for? And these guys look oddly like disgruntled Yodas. Okay, what should we do? So this is the same same setup as before. So we're going to do the same thing. Um, I'm going to put my rogue. I'm going to put my rogue down here again. Um, same plan as last time. Let's try to keep ourselves pretty focused on where we're going to go do the battles. Let's try our best. Kick, kick, punch. Step on the gas. Step on the brakes. That's not a right. You're oh god damn it. <sighs> I didn't put the right thing out, and I swore. That's fifty fifty-two dollars, fifty-three dollars for charity. Oh, I hope it will load for you. I hope it will. That's a dollar for the swear jar. <laughs> Thank you. I love that one so much. It makes me so pleased. Again, I'm gonna just carry my, my thread over this time because I will be, again, I will be putting a backing on this so I'm not super concerned about what the bottom looks like, so. Uh, it's true. No, James, leave it. Leave it on because I'm sure we've missed one. I'm sure we have. I'm certain we have. I am 1000% certain there's been at least one we've missed, so. It's okay. It's for charity! It's for charity. Uh, did I guys tell you what happened? Did I guys? Did I tell you guys what happened? Um, so I I didn't think it was gonna hit because I think it, I thought it was a stupid little short TikTok. Um, but I put a TikTok up of me when I was working on the D20 and I was trying really hard to not swear because I had sworn a ton on stream that night. And I said, mother flip flops. And um, so it was just a clip of me saying mother flip flops. And it has almost 10,000 views right now. <laughs> not as many likes and I've gotten, I haven't gotten any followers for it, but I thought that was so ridiculously funny that that, that one little clip of me trying my soul gosh darn hardest to not swear just it just tickled it just tickled TikTok in the right in the right spot I guess yeah mother flip flops was not a flop you're right you were right mother flip flops was a hit it just tickled them in the right spot I guess also it's a short video so like I can see somebody watching it a couple times. Uh, I have one going up on Monday, I think. Maybe Saturday. We'll see. Maybe it'll be Saturday of my um, my dad joke that made you guys laugh <laughs> really hard. So we'll be trying that one. I have one one swear that I, I picked up, or anti-swear that I picked up. Did not load, rip. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry you're struggling with it. Ooh, I mean, the booty picks were pretty great. Thanks for sending that booty pick after stream bronze. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was so fun. <laughs> Oh yeah, my mom has gotten used to the fact that I swear, so she doesn't like it, 
but she's aware of the fact that there's not a whole lot she can do to stop me. And I try really hard to not because I know it bothers her, but it just, it happens. It happens. Oh, it takes up too much memory. I'm sorry. Stolas, thanks for being here. Enjoy your lurk. Enjoy your lurk. There's a, a couple that live down the road from us that say hello to us whenever they're outside if we're walking Rupert. Um, we got to learn about their dogs and their children today. They're an older couple. Tell her you learned it from your dad. That's funny. That's funny. Clean up them chicken poops. Clean up them chicken poops. All right. Let's do his eyes and smile. It's true, everyone does make mistakes, it's true. We are not all infallible. If we were, life would be kind of not fun, don't you think? I don't think it would be. If we were all perfect all the time, that'd be boring. That'd be heckin' boring. Yeah, I'm doing these by knot, and I'm not doing, like, the loop cast on with them, which I should, but I, I'm not. Again, messy bottom. Normally, we stand a clean bottom. But we're going to messy bottom. We're going to be a messy bottom tonight. Yeah, to answer your question from earlier, Bronze, I want to get Pokemon Snap. I just, I got to make sure all the wedding bills get paid off first, and then we can get Pokemon Snap. I still am barely playing Rise at this point, so, like... I feel guilty getting another game when I have barely played the most recent one I got. I just don't have time. I just don't have time right now. All of my energy is put into um, work stream and getting ready for the wedding. And I just, I'm too tired at the end of every day to, uh, to play a video game. And Korg and I still, we get to play because you don't have to have a, you know, we, we have two PlayStations. Uh, we play monster hunter together on the weekend sometimes but machines do make errors honestly i have honestly some major anxiety about swear words because my mom's super strict and i got over the anxiety by just swearing in appropriate environments this topic from stressing about us out about swear words every time i heard or read them that's that's cool it's kind of like exposure therapy in a way that's kind of like exposure therapy the thing that really helped me with it was realizing that they're, they're only words and words only have the power that we give them. Um, so one of the most eye-opening experiences for that for me was when I lived in Germany. Um, my host, my host sister swore all the time in front of her parents and it, like it never bothered them. So I, I was just so confused as to why like she was allowed to do that. And it was explained to me that in other cultures, swear words are not really all that offensive. So that was cool. Hey, Timberwolf, what's up? Hope you're doing really good at yourself too. Thank you. Yeah, Pascal's, Pascal's turning out okay. Pascal is turning out a-okay. He's just got a little sombrero left after this, after we get his eyes and smile filled in. This is Calyx Creative's design, you guys. If you want, go ahead and follow Ms. Calyx. She's a wonderful, wonderful human. If you don't follow her already, you should. It's her birthday on Saturday. It's going to be great. Oh, slurs, slurs and derogatory terms? Absolutely. Absolutely a no-no. The Donut Crosser True Dance Fame. I, um, give me two, give me two seconds. Give me two seconds. I will get you the link. It is not, uh, it is not mine, but I will link you to her pattern. So that if you would like to, you can purchase it for yourself. 
So much wedding stuff. Hey, Odin. How are you? Um, her name is Needleless Designs. Get it? Needless Designs. There you go. There is the link to that pattern for ya. Exhausted. The heat killed you today. Oof. Oof. Physical labor jobs in the heat, man. I hope you can relax and get some water and cool down. You have mice on purpose. Mice are sweet. They're very cute. I used to have hamsters, which really are just mice without tails. So on purpose, mice are great. What other kind of mice? <laughs> on purpose, mice are the best. We actually had a not on purpose mice um, in our house last two winters ago. And we let him live in the house through the winter because it was just him or her. It was just them. And um, it was too cold to, to release it outdoors and not like feel bad about it. So we let it live in the house. We that only saw it once or twice. We're having soft tacos later. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate you. Um, and so we let it out. I, I live trapped it and we let it out in the spring. I'm sure a bird ate it or something, but it made me feel better. <laughs> yes, because they're warm and squishy. Same reason I like boobies, to be honest. <laughs> I have two cats, Violet. A mouse in the house. See, my cat would sleep right next to where the mouse lived and leave it completely alone. Leave it completely alone. It was so weird. <laughs> it's okay to like boobies, you guys. It's okay to like boobies. My cat has already caught two mice in our apartment. The other one can't be bothered, apparently. Oh, gosh. One of my cats is like that. The other has brought you many presents. Oof. Yes, they do poop a lot. Um, the mouse that we had lived behind our couch. We named him Faust. He was Faust the couch, house couch mouse. And he lived behind our couch. And so once he moved, we, um, we cleaned up behind the couch. There was a lot of poop. And honestly, it's one of the main reasons I want to replace the couch that we have is because I think he was living in the arm of the chair for a while. So I'm sure there's lots of mouse poop and stuff in there. And that's kind of icky. Um, and our couch is really old anyway, so we should replace it. There's lots of things we want to try and do after the wedding. Um, I think I'm going to buy us a wedding present because I like to do that. I like to spoil myself a little bit. I'm going to buy us a wedding present and get us patio furniture so we have a cool space to hang out in the backyard for this wonderful summer. Um, but we're going to have to put some savings together for to replace our couch. The one that we're looking at is only like like 15, 15 to eighteen hundred dollars, which is a lot. It's a lot. But um, the couch that I have right now was the couch that my parents gave me. That was the couch that I grew up with. So. <laughs> It was the it was the furniture that my parents got in when I was in middle school, which sadly was about 20 years ago. So this this furniture is like 20 years old. So now that places are opening up a little bit more, we might head over to like Dock 86 over here and be able to like try some out because the couch that I have downstairs from Dock 86 is like the most comfortable couch. Like when we both get sick, we like fight who gets to sleep on the couch like that couch is so comfy. I made a crocheted blue footed booby. Oh my gosh. You should join the discord if you're not in it already and drop it in the hobbies chat. I would love to see that. Right? Time for another couch just like it. We have one downstairs and one upstairs. So if we're ever sick at the same time, we can just like each take one. I can't jump on the tip of your finger. Oh no. Yeah, my parent. when I moved into this house eight years ago, my parents were like, take our couches so that they could get brand new furniture. <laughs> oh. So they got new furniture and I got the furniture that they bought when I was 13.
I just had a moment of 13 was not 20 years ago. And then realizing it absolutely was. It absolutely was. Oof, I don't have the money for that, man. I don't have the money for that. <laughs> Look at his little facey face. He's so cute. Um, I put the taco cat with him because I thought a sombrero wearing avocado would probably like a little taco cat buddy. Okay, so we have two colors left. We have the two yellows left, and then we have the back stitching for the sombrero. And that's it. And that's it. So after the wedding too, I'm gonna get my Marceline the Vampire um, done, my costume for Marcy done, and do some more cosplay TikToks. Cause most of my cosplay TikToks right now are either Ramona or Harley. You have joined the Taco Ranch. All right, we'll accept the values, join hobbies, and plop your photo in. And once you do, let me know, and we'll go see it. Aww, I love your mama. She's such a sweetie. She's such a ray of sunshine. What a sweetie. You guys, I had the most dramatic dream, traumatic dream last night. In my dream last night, so we have a dog-friendly office. Granted, I haven't been at the office in like a year, but we have a dog-friendly office. And I had a dream that our old CEO came back to the company to reenact the fact that we could no longer have a dog-friendly office. So he took away our dog-friendly office and I was inconsolable. I was sobbing. I was so upset. I was like, does this mean I have to quit? We don't accept dogs anymore. Like, I was so upset. Why are you waiting until after the wedding to dye your hair pink? Dye your hair pink now, I don't care. Girl, you do you. If you wanna be happy and have pink hair at my wedding, be happy and have pink hair at my wedding. Uh, fuck yeah, you can be a uh, PB with me. You can be my pibbles. <gasps> okay, 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 okay. Am excited. Am excited. You did! Yeah, sorry, that was a random thing. Um, ba -ba -da -ba, ba -ba 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 -ba. <gasps> first of all, we're gonna do this. We're gonna look at this one first because this is insane. We have some amazing talent going on. Hang on, let me see. Where's my display capture? There we go. Boop, boop, boop. Look at this. Look at this amazing, amazing, amazing. Would that be a minotaur? Yeah, it's a minotaur that James painted. Isn't that incredible? What a cool, cool thing. And this is from Maritime Max. Oh, wow. <gasps> Chickadee and a blue jay. And is that, is that a nuthatch? Or a finch? Actually, I don't know. And then April with the robin. So it's a seasonal bird project. That's really cool. Oh, and the bluebird for May. <gasps> so are these each, are these all individual or did you, are you stitching them together? <gasps> these are beautiful. Those are absolutely beautiful. Um, in creative chat, let me, if you haven't, if you don't see creative chat, um, you just have to accept the, the, head on over to the room keys. Let me see here. I'll just add you to hobbies. There you go. You should be able to see it now. You should be able to see it now. Down in hobbies is creative chat and you can plop her in right there. Do do do. You can plop it on in there. I am so thirsty today. Mm. All right, all right, all right. 
back to our display capture. Oh my goodness, look at the foots! Look at the foots! <laughs> that is so cool. Little wingies. Oh, what a cutie. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at it! Look! Look at his little peeties. I love it. I love it so much. That's super cool. That's super duper cool. Thank you for sharing, you guys. I love it when you guys share stuff with me. Thank you so much for sharing. <laughs> it's true. I love boobies. I do love boobies. Conveniently, so does my fiance. Because if I got booty, I got boobies. Um, he has wire in his feet. Oh, that's so cool. One big piece, but they're all separate patterns. That's so cool. The birds of the month is beautiful. What a cool tapestry to like be able to display somewhere in your house. That's super, super cool. That's okay. We don't all have to have the same talents, cowboy. And honestly, the thing about doing crafts is just, just takes practice. If it's something you really want to be good at or you really want to do, just do it. Just try it. My ex-husband used to say that he had, um, he had no dexterity, so he couldn't do crafts, but I made him make one of his own cosplay props and he, he turned out really well and he ended up getting really creative with what he did with it. So... You know, sometimes you just have to have the right thing that inspires you. Sometimes it's just got to be the right thing to inspire you. That is going to be such a special present. It's going to be so cool. Everyone are legends. It's true. It's true. Oops. Got to get my pattern back here. There we go. All right. So. I believe... We're going to finish this tonight. I believe I can stitch. I believe I can stitch this bitch. I don't know. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> well, let's let you post Rocket and Pets. Oh no, why not? What is it saying? Is it mad at you? It shouldn't be mad at you. That's one of the public channels. That's one of the public channels. That's so weird. That's true. That's true. Drawing a stickman is good. My coworker and I used to draw. My coworker and I used to draw um, stick stick figures for each other when we were on our lunch breaks as entertainment. There it goes. Sometimes it's just slow to load. Oh, I'll ask. I'll ask you before I do this because I have to. I want to make sure that you're okay. Do you mind if I show this one? Since it's a personal photo. It can stay in Discord if you don't want it to. But I like to ask, since it's a person, it's a, a, it's a poison. It's a poison. And some people like to stay a little bit more uh, anonymous on the interwebs. There we go. Look at these little mices. Do your mices have names? They're so cute. They're so cute. Well, I got an itchy nose. Good thing you can't see me. Look at those babies. Look at them little babies. They're so cute. They're so cute. Loving them Mises to pieces. Oh, they're so cute. Growing up, I had a friend who had um, rats. She had some rats that were very sweet. 
It's a moose. <laughs> it's fair, that's fair. <laughs> it was like, no boobies. Discord recognizes boobies, and we say no to the boobies. Hmm. <laughs> Discord's a prude. <laughs> Five minutes left to join, guys. Five minutes left to join exclamation mark battle if you want to get in there. I was saying boobies. That's the quote, right? That's the quote. I feel like that's what it is. Yeah, sometimes that happens. Sometimes it gets a little delayed. I do feel like we're gonna get this done tonight. And now that I've said that, we're not gonna get this done tonight. Something is going to happen and I won't get it done. But I feel like if I was able to get all of this done in Calyx's stream, I should be able to do this. Exactly, cowboy. We don't discriminate. <laughs> Image being assigned an anti-breast algorithm. Oh my gosh, wouldn't that be funny if you were the one who had to program that? I think I've told the um, the story on stream before of my friend who lived in, he lived in Utah, which, in a largely Mormon area. And one of the things that he had to do was, for his job, was follow link, questionable links to tell if they were um, inappropriate or not. So if they were like, you know, pornographic or booby pictures or, anything that went against the the mormon's belief system so that he could then report the link to somebody to block the link from being viewed within certain web browsing things because mormons and since he wasn't mormon he was one of the only people who could do it <laughs> in his group so it's like yep i i sat and viewed questionable links all day long that was my job Poor friend, poor friend. Hey, what's up, so what are you doing? Cat is not the imposter. It's true, it's not. I'm not the imposter. At least not this time. Right, what a job. What a job. What do you do for a living? I check the internet for porn. <laughs> Oh no, Jarek, no. This is uh, Pascal the Avocado. He is the um, the mascot of Calyx Creative Stream. And um, this was started on her stream yesterday for Cinco de Mayo. I just wanted to finish it tonight because I need to feel a win. I need to be like, woohoo, we finished something. I said, if we finish this, I'll start working on some um, wedding favors. Otherwise, I'll do those tomorrow while I'm watching Critical Role with the with the financy. Day 17. Yep, still porn. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Such good critical role. I know, and we're gonna have to wait till tomorrow to see it. Do you see Jester behind me? She's hanging out back there. Uh, our favors are little jars of um, bee friendly seeds with a little tag on them that says, let love grow. And I'm sneaking a little quartz crystal into each jar because your girl's a little witchy. Um, but yeah, so then people can go home and plant a little garden to, to commemorate the wedding and help make the earth a little bit brighter, happier, shinier place with some, some bee friendly flowers. Mm. 
Yes, cowboy. That is exactly what I imagine it would be like. You going from woohoo, this job is amazing to oh my god, I am so over this. I am so over this. Just reminds you of the song, The Internet is for Porn. Ooh, 42 out there this time. You guys are killing it. You guys are killing it. You have a lot of caffeine, apparently. Ooh, jittery. It's getting getting to be a little late for that much caffeine. Hopefully you can uh, <laughs> get it out of your system before nightfall. <laughs> oh man, that's so good. It's so good. Right, then everybody who has, everybody who goes home and has a little flower garden in their backyard, not only is helping out the planet, but uh, has a little thing to remember the wedding by for longer than, you know, the traditional, um, the traditional wedding favors that get tossed in the bin like a day later. All right, here we go. Oh, I didn't put a spell out. I keep forgetting I have spells. Hmm. What do we got over here? We got rogues, berserkers, warriors. Okay, so we're going to put, I'm going to put stronghold out over here. There we go. Ooh, that's a lot of Dr. Pepper. Cool soul. That's awesome. I mean, what is a wedding if not a big party, right? Cowboy with the most kills, Jade with the most assists. Our winners are Bronze and Maritime Max. Everyone else gets six gold coins, plus whatever else is in your chest. Ooh, it's boss battle time, beaches. It's boss battle time. Which boss should we go for, you guys? Top or bottom? Top or bottom boss? Hmm. You want to go for the mystery boss? You want to go for the mystery boss? Uh energy for days hopefully not days i hope you get some rest oh i'm nervous i'm nervous like we know it's this is the enemy we know uh james says mystery boss james if we die this is your fault all right guys if you have epics put them out put them out put them out put them out what does this booger do an undead homunculus that slows its targets Okay, so because this slows its targets, would it be best to throw rogues at it? Because rogues are already speedy. So they would be slowed less, right? Does that work? Is that a, is that like, does, is that how this works? <laughs> does that make any kind of sense whatsoever? And then these are warriors. These are... So we have ranged and we have assassin. Okay, just today and tomorrow. There you go. Only for two days. Mm. Ball of ham. That's an amazing name. Um. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. All right. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put a rogue out too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. We got this. Thank you for the epics, you guys. We got an epic tank and an epic centurion out there. You guys kick booty. Y'all kick booty. You are a ball of ham. <laughs> oh. 
Man, we were talking about something about inappropriate about shrimp last night over in Calix's stream. I can't even remember what it was, but it was hilarious. Talking about like sticky, sticky shrimp or something, and then everyone was worried about why the shrimp were sticky. Because we were talking about sticky rice, like Thai, like Thai mango sticky rice. It's so good. Wait, 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 wait. Magpie, are you being serious or are you ball of ham? Are you ball of ham? <laughs> I am dead. I am dead. Oh my goodness, you guys, it's, it's Calyx. It's gosh darn Calyx. How you feeling, my girl? I hope you're doing okay. I picked out, I decided I'm gonna do something different on Saturday. I'm gonna start working on my pride heart on Saturday with the sticky pokes, the pokey sticks. Oh, is there, a, there's a knot on my butt. Got a knot on my booty. Cause I was, I was gonna work on this. But like, I don't know, I don't know how well that would work. We'll see, but like maybe when I get better with sticky pokes, but yeah. <laughs> that is very fair, Calyx, that is very fair. Yeah, that's a, it's a, it's a mountain scene that I haven't finished yet and I, I just don't know how it would work. So I want to start my pride, the pride piece that I'm going to auction off so that it, it can actually have it done and ready to auction off. <laughs> I think so. I think it's absolutely, I am jealous of my cat sometimes for getting to like sleep and stuff. Yes, that's not on Ada. It's not on Ada. Absolutely not, no. Well, no, I think it'd be okay, but like just the way that the stitches are placed, I, I want to do something simpler before I try to like do, do that. We'll see. Deja vu, deja vu, deja vu. Calyx, it looks like he's holding the taco now. I'm really excited to get, to get this done. I'm pretty sure we will get it done tonight. I'm pretty sure we will. I don't know. I'm moving slower tonight than I was when we were stitching on your stream, but. We'll see. <gasps> Little crochet, how are you? How are you? Exclamation mark battle if you guys want to join in our battle. It is free to play. It is free to play. I mean, you know the funny thing about it all, Magpie, is I would have believed you were Ball of Ham. I totally 100% would have believed it. We're having soft tacos later. Thank you so much for the follow. So lovely to have you. You're still waking up. Ooh, is it early in the morning for you or is it late night? Are you a, a third shifter? Third shifter. I gotta finish Dover's cross stitch, but that might not happen until after the wedding. Yep, there we go. 9 a.m. in Australia. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, I remember um, when we were working with our vendor who is in Australia um, at work, I used to have to stay at work until at least five o'clock at night to have phone calls with him at eight o'clock in the morning. <laughs> it was really hard. Oh, there's, there is literally, just literally you follow the link and you make an account and you drop people on the floor. 
but it's so easy. It's so easy. And you can collect pretty skins. I have some pretty skins now. You can get my skin. You see my little flag bearer down in the bottom corner? This my flag bearer. One day you could be a successful ball of ham, right? I mean, you can always be a ball of ham trying. That's all we can ask of you. You learned as you went? Yeah, same. Same. I still don't really know what I'm doing, but... It's okay. Ooh, okay. My angry water is making me a little bit burpy. Yes, it is Jester. That is Jester Lavore. She's made out of perler beads. Um, she was one of the very first big perler bead projects that I did. I think there's something like 3,800 bees in that. Just a little blue tiefling. Oh no! Oh, did I miss a stitch down here? I did. We're just gonna fix that real quick. See, Magpie, it's easy. You put a little archer out, it looks like. Sorry, I have to tip this a little bit closer to me because I missed a stitch. I'll fix, I'll put it back in a second. There we go. Here we go. I made Jester in, what was it? I think it was 2018 I made Jester. It was in the beginning of my second year of streaming. Can you guys believe this is year three? Can you believe this is year three? On episode 90? Ooh. We are caught up. Yeah, on campaign one or two, that's the other important question. Well, if you know it's Jester, then it must be at least campaign two. I was originally gonna make each one of the Mighty Nine, and then I realized that was gonna take forever because I think Jester took about a month and a half of streams, and I was doing three streams at the time. I was doing three streams a week. I do two. I do two a week now, especially because in Minnesota in summer, I want to be able to spend time outside. You know. You know. Oh my gosh, my brain just for some reason was like, well, it's Monday. No, it is Thursday and tomorrow is Friday, brain. There. Yeah, I listened to them um, when I was doing big data projects at work because it was like, I need to spend four hours on this project, so I'll listen to this four hour long thing. Before that, I was listening to a lot of Welcome to Night Vale. I actually wanna go back and, and get back into Night Vale. Maybe I should listen to Night Vale while I work out in the morning or something. Oh yeah, we did that too. We listened to, when we drove out to Kentucky, um, sorry, I'm losing where my stitches are. Um, 
When we were out in Kentucky, uh, it took, you know, it's an 18-hour drive. And, or not 18, it was like a 13-hour drive. We, um, we listened to Critical Role on the way there and back. It was awesome. It was awesome because I still haven't technically finished uh, campaign one. I'm almost done with campaign one. I'm at the time skip. But um, I know how it ends. I've seen, I mean, I've seen enough to know how it ends, so it doesn't bother me that I haven't finished it yet. Yeah, that does suck. That does suck. Oh my gosh, there we go. Sometimes my needle just doesn't want to find the hole and it just sits back there like, nah, 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 as I'm like trying to jab it in. It's like, no. This is a game we're playing now. Just jab it in, right? Oof, die, you guys. This is a boss battle. Be sure, be sure to get anything good you have out on the floor. If you time it right, you can get up to six dudes out at once. Cross-stitch stuff is so cool. I agree. I have, it's been a while since I've cross-stitched, so. Mmm, yes. Yeah, I get that. I get that. I've definitely, we were talking about this yesterday on Calyx's stream, how like certain things just, you can't anymore. You just can't anymore. Like my ex-husband ruined an entire band for me that I used to really like, and I'm sad. I'm sad. Cause he wasn't even the one who introduced me to the band. He was just so gung ho about them. Yeah, um, I think, I think Korg watches Dimension 20. Um, I listen to a lot of Welcome to Night, Night Vale, not a Critical Role or Dungeons and Dragons themed show. Just a very weird Cthulhu, like HP Lovecraftian old radio show. Um, and I don't remember where it was going with this. I had a point. There was a point about listening to Night Vale. <sighs> I don't remember now. But Night Vale's great. If you like, like, silly, obscure, Lovecraftian type podcasts, Welcome to Night, Welcome to Night Vale is wonderful. I found somebody on TikTok who cosplays the creator of, of Earth, or the creator of the world, the main god, Huntakar. And it made me giggle. I thought it was great. All right, one more row of this gold. And then I have to figure out how to backstitch because I don't know how to backstitch on this. We can possibly have $113 worth of cotton paint in the car. Okay, so the one trick with fab body paint is um, it needs a little bit, it needs a little bit more, it needs a little bit more water than you think, but not as much as you'll be tempted to use if you want it to be nice and thick. I got into it and really hope the relation doesn't end poorly and I don't know. I hope so too. Hate it when relationships ruin stuff like that. Such a bummer. I 
I have four of their colors and I really like them. I have four of the colors from Fab and I really like them. One of the body painters that I watch who has very, very sensitive skin um, uses Silly Farms Fab all the time. Yeah, therapy can help because a lot of times, like a lot of times being able to identify patterns, not only in yourself, but in the partners you choose is really important. Like I picked toxic partners because like, I always, I, I always was willing to look past some of the stuff that was going on and all of the stuff was like glaringly obvious. It was terrible. Um, so I had this bad habit of picking people that like, when I wanted to grow, didn't want to also grow. And so I would sacrifice myself to like slow down and wait for them to catch up. And it was really, really hard to realize that if somebody's not going to grow with you, you grow out of them. Welcome back, Stolas. And that's okay. It's okay to grow out of people. It's okay to grow out of relationships. And honestly, that's a lot of what happened in my marriage. It's okay to grow out of people. If they're not going to be willing to, to take the challenge of growing up as well, excuse me, then it's okay. You're under no obligation to sit there and wait for them to catch up. And if they do, if they grow and they catch up to you, freaking fantastic. <sighs> yeah, that's the same thing too. That's the same thing too. It's like, well, we'll be able to fix this. But then you have to stop and think about who's putting the work in to fix it. And at least in, in a lot of my relationships, the person who was putting in the work to change it so it didn't happen again was always me. And I wasn't the problem. I wasn't the reason that thing went wrong or I wasn't the reason that fight kept happening. It was, it was so frustrating that it was always, I was always like, oh, we'll work it out, but I'd be the only one doing any of the emotional labor. It's sort of the, the whole thing is if you, there's no consequences for your action, what's gonna make you change your actions? If there's no consequence for repeatedly bad behavior, then what's the point? They're gonna just keep doing it. It's the hard thing when you're learning to set boundaries and I wish I would have learned how to set boundaries sooner in my life. But I learned it's still hard to do and it's never comfortable to do, but you can, Who cares about communicating. See, that's the same with Korg. Like I was very, very clear with him when we were getting serious that I was growing, I wasn't gonna stop and I expected communication from him. Like. If you're gonna show up to this party, you gotta be willing to play the games and you've gotta be willing to put the work in. And he said he would, and he has. That doesn't mean we are both perfect, but we're both willing to, to allow the other person to have space to grow because we're both growing. You know, we're both changing, we're both developing. Yeah, boundaries are rough. Boundaries are rough. Boundaries are a rough one. Oh, come on. Oh, I missed a stitch on the bottom row. That's okay. We can fix it. We can add one stitch while we're over here. Granted, you're never, you're, not, you're never really gonna understand life. I promise you that. <laughs> I promise you that. Trust me when I say 
it's always gonna be, it's always gonna be a challenge, <laughs> right? Adulthood life, yeah. Taxes and job kind of stuff, heck yes. I still struggle with that stuff, man, like for sure. I still panic every time I file my taxes. Did I do this right? I'm sure I've screwed it up and the government's gonna come murder me in my sleep. Well, just hope for the best, yeah. Do what you can to control the situation though. You know, if there's stuff steps you can take as well, that's a good thing to do. I think every time I work on the RuPaul piece, we're gonna use a different RuPaul quote as the title. Whether it be from her songs or from the show, we're gonna use just RuPaul quotes. I was singing Kitty Girl to myself recently. Hey, kitty girl, it's your world. If you can't love yourself, how in the hell are you gonna love somebody else? Can I get an amen? I always liked um, that quote, the if you can't love, if you can't love yourself, how the hell are you gonna love someone else quote? Because you know what it says to me is it doesn't say you're not worthy of love until. It's just, if you can't show yourself love, how can you properly show someone else love if you can't show it to yourself? Because the other quote, the other version of that quote always makes me feel like you're not worthy of having relationships and you're not worthy of love until you learn how to love. And so I've just always loved Rue's twist on that. It doesn't mean you can't. It just says, man, it's gonna be a lot rougher if you don't spend that time working on you. Man, I should have, I have, I should have the, I should have them the quote be and don't F you star 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 it up. <laughs> Cause that's what I'm gonna say like every time I do this. Every time I do this. Can I get an amen? Oh, Rue. Back rolls. No tea, no shade. Except for when it's all tea, all shade. Ba -da 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 Oh, you guys are doing a good showing out on that floor. Thank you so much for helping me kick this boss's booty. I appreciate you. We're fighting a homunculus. We are fighting a homunculus. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I like that. I like that. Almost done with this yellow. I'm going so much slower tonight than I was going on Calix's stream. So when I'm like, oh, we're totally gonna finish this tonight, I'm looking at the clock like, are we though? We're gonna get gosh darn close. We're gonna get gosh darn close. We have one color left and then the back stitching. Truth be told, I've never back stitched in a cross stitch piece before, so I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm sure we'll figure it out. I'm sure we'll figure it out. I've back stitched on embroidery quite a bit.
Yes, exactly, Connor. That's the hope. That's the hope. Got 59 out. Two minutes left until this boss battle. I have a feeling we're going to slaughter them. Uh, it's just a type of stitch. Um, and this one is going to provide a little bit of detail. It's like one one strand of thread to, to provide a little extra detail on this piece. So, All right, you guys. Nobody look. We're going to flip it over and look at my booty. That's right, we're looking at my booty. I can tell that some of this thread is not my DMC thread. Um, Cause I had, I accidentally mixed in some of my cheaper threads that get a little bit more pilly. Not a bad looking booty. Not a bad looking booty. All right, this goes in the done colors pile because this I will reserve. That's reserving for the threads that I need. This I need to reserve. And then uh, I don't have any leftover blue. Do I have leftover green? I don't have leftover green. Okay, no worries. Done colors, last color. Okay. It's a great looking booty, isn't it? Isn't it? Okay. I have a feeling we're gonna get everything but the back stitching done and I wanna be like, <sighs> I should go to bed on time tonight though. I stayed up too late the last two nights. Because after Calyx's stream, I definitely stayed up and <laughs> scrolled TikTok for far too long. Enjoy your lurk! I'm so sorry. I don't know why you're getting that. I think this is one of the cheaper, cheaper ones too. You pooped. Okay, you guys, it's time for a battle. My battle sound isn't going off. I gotta check on that. It should go. Notifications. Mm. Oh, it's because the battle ready alert is very quiet right now. Oh well. Okay, so what do we got over here? We got archers, archers, archers. I'm gonna high ground our archers. There we go. Oh, I should probably flip screens. There you go. Oh, that is so loud. You guys, most of us lived. Most of us survived. That's that's impressive. That's impressive, you guys. We won. Cowboy with the most kills, Jedi Clay or Cly, sorry, with the most assists. Awards go to No Gib and Maritime Max. And eight gold coins to everybody, plus whatever else is in your chest. GLHF on the next level, you guys. We just got another. We just got another boss chest. Good job, us. All right, so let's see what we got on the dance floor here. So this, it's a bronze chest. Um, this is a loyalty gold chest. This is just a regular. Mm, where should we start? Where should we start? Um, 
let's go to the question marks. Let's do another uh, unknown, battle unknown. Oh, what do we got here? We've got some warriors. We've got some assassin rogues. So these guys are fast dudes. We want some tanks out here to clear them out. Um, melee. Okay, so we're going to want some tanks over here. Um, these siege towers are support. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. So we want mostly defensive. Oops, we want mostly defensive stuff. So, I don't know. I don't know. I bet it is. I bet that is infuriating. Um, I'm going to put my tank up here. I'm not sure, guys. I'm not sure. This is a defense game. We're trying to defend. So let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. See what happens. All right. So this is how many stitches in? One, two, three, four, five, six stitches in. One, two, four, five, six. It's here. Right, one, two, three, six. Yep, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my god, I can't count. I can't count like that. Hang on, I gotta do this. One, two, three, four, five, 14. Those 14 stitches. Okay. Hoo, 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 hoo. Did I switch back? I did. Okay, good job, me. Uh oh, hello. There we go. Okay. And then it's something cool that, like, if you've hang, hung out here, you can, you know, get on, 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 getting yourself a piece from stream. Calyx makes the cutest little designs, these cute little, little buddies for Pascal. I'm going to make the, the planetary one, the Earth Day one, the planetary one. <sighs> I'm a nerd. 
It's fine. Oh, goodness gracious, Mo, hello, how are you? Everybody, welcome our raiders. Exclamation mark, welcome to welcome our raiders. Mo, how are you? How are you doing? Thank you so much for the raid. I really, really appreciate it, you guys. With the lovely Mo joining us, I need you all to make sure to give them a follow. Mo makes the most amazing art. The really, really cool, like, skeleton creation stuff that she does is just absolutely stunning. I'm really glad that um, you're good today. I'm really good. So, yes, please give Mo a follow. They are an amazing streamer, and um, they're such a joy and such a sweet, sweet, precious energy out in the Twitch sphere. Doing well, doing well today. We're finishing up a project we started on a different stream yesterday. Um, this is Calix, Calix Creatives, Pascal. And um, now I hope everybody's passed their little little break, but I want to do, I didn't get to, do, I keep forgetting to do it. I apologize. <laughs> but for all you lovely people who don't know me, I am the Cat is the Lie. Um, I do cross stitch. I do, like, we've got some perler art hanging out down back here. We've make it, been making some Pokemans. Um, there's also perler art on the wall behind me. I game sometimes, but mostly this is just a chill, free, open, accepting space. We do philanthropy stuff here. And this is a little video to help you get to know me. Just a little intro video there with music courtesy of the amazing Stolas Music who just chatted in there. I love Kakashi. Look at these. <laughs> Look at these. Oh. Mo, what were you working on today? What were you working on today? I saw you go live today while I was cooking dinner. One, two, three, four. Oops, I had to clear them more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Two fingered sloth skeleton for the Odyssey Shop Commission. Oh, that's so cool. I've been seeing ads here for our Odyssey Oddities Festival. I think that they're gonna go. I think they're gonna do it this year. It got canceled last year. And I didn't get to go. If they do, it's at the Minneapolis Convention Center. I'm too nervous to do things indoors yet, but maybe. Maybe. That sounds super, super cool, Mo. That sounds super cool. I can't. I'm losing count here. My eyes aren't working. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I have one more to do, right? 1, 2, 3. Five, six, one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, okay, one more stitch. Whew. Yeah, I do too. I'm I'm still kind of nervous doing things inside, to be honest. I'm really, really, really happy our wedding is outdoors. Um Minnesota is lifting a bunch of its mandates in, at the end of May, so like right after our wedding. Um, but yeah. I still try to do as much as I can outside if I go and do anything, yeah. I know, it's in 16 days. <laughs> Mo, it's in 16 days. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. 
Every time you go, you come back somewhere else. <laughs> That's gotta be disorienting. <laughs> what, did I just undo my stitch? No. Okay. Oofta. Oofta. Bless you. Yeah, it's 16 days away, and I said if I got done with this project tonight, which, gosh darn it, I just made this stitch in the same place. Um, my eyes just can't see this yellow for some reason. Um, there we go. Let's put the stitch in the right place. Um, if we got done with this, I was gonna work on our wedding favors. I just have to assemble them. They're just little jars of wildflower seeds that are pollinator friendly. <gasps> oh, I'm going to, I'm going to. I was disappointed with my first wedding's photos, so I'm, we made sure to, I paid a little bit more for our photographer. Um, I really, I really like his style. I vetted him out instead of being like somebody that a friend referred me to. So I'm really excited. He has some really, really good style. He's really good at posing people. I've been stalking his Instagram and watching like his tips for photographers on how best to pose your clients. And most of his tips are like getting natural movement into the pictures, like, you know, sway back and forth and, and eventually you'll get into a good like loosey goosey mood. Yeah, I said loosey goosey. And um, you'll be able to be a little bit more comfortable to take a photo that looks more comfortable and relaxed and natural. So. Um, I'm excited. I'm really excited. Chicken mozzarella ravioli for dinner. Ooh, that sounds good. Do you share with them ICs? I asked you earlier and I totally missed it if you told me. What is the frog? What is the froggy's name? What are your mice's names? I totally missed it. The booby mice. <laughs> You share your veggies with them. Yeah, I'm very excited. I'm very excited. We're going to actually try to have somebody, um, we're going to try to have somebody video it. Um, somebody who can stay out of the way of the photographer, but still videotape the wedding. I say videotape like an old person. Uh, record the wedding. And um, then I'm going to try to edit it together to be able to share with everybody on stream. Once I get the professional photos back, I'd love to edit them into making, just make a wedding video to be able to share with everybody. Um, just something really crude that, you know, like your, your weird aunt knows how to use a video editing program and that's what she made you for a wedding video. Cause that's going to be what I do. Um, but I would love to do that and be able to share it with everybody so that more people can experience that day with us. Cause like, it's been really, really hard in the pandemic to plan a wedding. It's been really lonely um, because we haven't been able to do things like a bachelorette party or a bachelor party or, you know, brunch with the girls or even even a wedding shower. We haven't been able to even we haven't been able to do a wedding shower. Um, so it's been it's been hard, but we're doing it. We're doing it. My mom was like, you don't get a wedding shower because you've been married before. And I was like, mom, he hasn't. <laughs> Can it be a wedding sprinkle? Doesn't have to be a shower. We already own a home together. But yeah, so that's, that's my plan is I, I want to be able to share it with more people because there's going to be so many people that we wished could have been there anyways. So, um, she was joking. She was trying to make me feel better about the fact that we couldn't have one, you know? Daily showers moving in. I do shower daily, just so you know. It's got to involve a lot of stress, and I just hope the good. Oh, thank you so much, Mo. That means so much. You are so sweet. You are so sweet. I have a little bit of a sore throat tonight, and I'm wondering if it's just the more talking that I've done recently, or if, I, if it's my allergies or if I'm getting a cold. But if I'm getting a cold, I wanna get it now and not at the wedding. <laughs> you mean daily wedding showers, James? 
That's a lot of wedding showers. It's true, Connor, it really is. We've had to move our wedding date twice, so. The fact that our state has been very widely adopting the vaccine program um, and the fact that it's outdoors is allowing us to be able to do it now, so that's a good thing for us. It's a good thing for us. It's been hard, but it's, it's good. my brain just quit working sorry i was just sitting here i'm like i have not said anything recently hi hi everybody how are you i'm the cat is alive welcome to mushroom stram i gotta get something to like lean on my elbows always get really sore after stream because of where i have to place this for the camera i want to figure out a, a way to move my camera from where it is um that's probably where it has to be when i work on rupaul though because that's going to be a big project I also needed a chair that's gonna be taller then. Ooh. Ooh, that's gonna be hard. Pool noodle on the edge, that's not a bad idea. I, for a second, thought you said poodle on the edge, and I was very confused. <laughs> I was very confused. You able to get your second Pfizer shot last Friday. Hope you got this on Sunday. Father in law got his today. Whole house minus kiddos are vaccinated, assuming we don't need the booster. Yes. Um, and if I need a booster, so be it. I got Pfizer as well. Um, today is actually my two week anniversary of my second shot. So I am fully vaccinated today. I am inoculated. I am inoculated today. Day is my inoculation day. I actually, I, I haven't been journaling a ton. I usually journal a lot. I haven't been journaling a ton because I've been kind of like depressed and down um, this last year. Weird, right? Um, so I printed off some pictures with my little sticker picture printer thing. And I pimped one of the posters, one of the pictures that I printed was of me with my vaccine card. Like, you know what? <laughs> grandchild someday is gonna look at this and be like "Ooh, that's grandma with her inoculation card from the covid nine the covid from the covid you got your first dose last weekend <gasps> that's so good i haven't gotten any yet yeah we've had a really really good adoption rate here in minnesota so we've been widely able to get it um the rollout's been great um and most people have been very willing to get it here, even in some of our more rural areas, people have been really willing to get it, which is really, really, really helps. Um, some areas that's obviously not the case, so. <gasps> You're going to DC in a couple months for your eighth grade trip. That is so cool. I remember going on my eighth grade trip to DC. It was amazing. I had so much fun. I hope you have a blast. I hope you have a blast. I know, but James, at least you're inoculated. I think we only have one wedding guest who's not inoculated that's coming. And it's not for lack of trying. Cries in Australia. Oh, crochet, I'm so sorry. Thank you so much for that follow. Welcome on in. I've heard, yeah, in Canada specifically, I have some friends who know that they'll get theirs in um, August. I think they both have plans to get theirs in August, but that's as soon as they can get it. And then here in Minnesota, most of our vaccine mandates are going to be, or not mandates, mask mandates and stuff will be rolled back um, on July 1st, they said, because we're, we should be at about a 70% adoption rate by then.
And if we can get to a 70% adoption rate, that means we will have darn near close to reached herd immunity, so we should be okay. I mean, for me personally, it's not going to change a lot of what I do. Um, I will still wear masks out in public for probably for a while. I'm also very, very cautious from where I, for where I go. I still don't like eating in restaurants. So it's not going to change a ton for me, but it just means that, you know, if something happens, I'm a little safer. Just where, and that, I agree with that. Mummy Frog, I agree with that. I think that if you feel ill at all, wearing a mask is the nice and appropriate thing to do. I am sorry for everybody who has to wait too. I feel really bad. The vaccine inequality in the country right now, or in the world right now, is really, really rough. Oops, my brother is waiting to find the J&J vaccine in our area. My dad is refusing to get one until there's more information. <sighs> yeah, unfortunately. It's unfortunately. What more information does he need? Uh, don't ask because they don't know. <laughs> I found it's really hard. That's really hard. This point of has been people skipping their second shot. I know, and that's the hard thing. That's when you get freaking genetic mutations, man. That's when you get mutations of the of the virus, because people are only kind of protected. That's rough. Yeah, I plan to wear a mask if I have the sniffles at work. I'm just gonna keep a mask at work at my desk when I go back. Absolutely, because all the money was all the money in the world was thrown at it. So it's really easy to develop when you have the money, the funding, and the need. It's a perfect storm to get something pushed through quickly. Like, I get it. I get it that people are hesitant, but... Guys. <laughs> the reason it got through. You're gonna go to Texas too? Oh, that's so good, Connor. I'm so glad you get to go do some traveling. That's so good. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have any grandparents any longer, but you know. Right, I mean, you guys know, I do, I do fundraising every February for Children's Cancer Research Fund. The reason we don't have more cures and we don't have better research is because we don't have the funding and we need the funding. But when there's a global pandemic and a lot of people to throw money at something, it gets very, very quick to do the research and find the cure. We have to get the vax to get COVID. Me too. Me too. Skipping it because they're. Ooh, they're skipping it because they're higher risk? That's the worst reason to skip it. That's the worst reason to skip it. Oh. My dad had. So there's there were seven main comorbidities that you could have that made you like the highest risk. And my dad had six of the seven comorbidities and he was like parading himself in to get his vaccine. And he's like, stick it in my arm. Let's get this done. <sighs> I know I'm t the hard thing is, you know, yeah, you had a rough time with COVID too. I'm so sorry. Yes, because they won't give it to pregnant people. Hey there, Gurgi. What is up? How are you, friendo? I worry that the side effects from the vaccine would put them in the hospital. I mean, okay, but if you need anything, if you need anything, my dad, who literally has the most uh, comorbidities that you could have possibly had to be the most at risk for COVID, got it, and he had a really easy time with it. So more COVID then. Eating some dinner, nice. Eating some dinner. What's for dinner? Yeah, that's good. And I'm glad you were able to. I'm really glad you were able to. At least they're doing that part right, right? That's good. That's good. Chicken mozzarella ravioli. You made some calzones. Delish. Delish. I had leftover cauliflower pasta, which was 
it's fine. Just don't tell me it's pasta. It's definitely cauliflower um, with some chicken sausage. It was good. It was good. I've been in a mood today, and when I'm in a mood, sometimes I just, like, one of my stress responses is to just not eat. Like, it's not to just not eat. It's that I don't realize I'm hungry the same way I do when I'm not stressed out. And so I've been having to very consciously make myself have meals today because I'm, I don't have the same hunger response when I'm stressed. You want your mail? <gasps> What's in your mail today that we're waiting for? Here's the mail, it never fails. It makes me wanna wag my tail. When it comes, I wanna wail. Needles for knitting, awesome. You got my gift sent today. Oh, I'm so excited, Gergi. I'm so, so, so excited. Wedding presents, wedding presents are on their way. I'm so excited. You get to see your grandparents, that's awesome. And a necklight, ooh, nice. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. I wonder who it's from. Hey, Craft Wins, how are you? How many threads am I using? I'm using three. I like really plushy stitches. I like really plushy stitches. This is, um, I'll tip him back a little bit. This is Pascal from Calix's stream, dressed up for Cinco de Mayo. Ouch! God dang it, that one hurt. I'm glad you could too. 33, man. Yes, it's a blood sacrifice. Blood for the blood god. Blood for the blood god. Thank you. You know that's my my taco cat. These actually should be up in my store. I'm hoping I'm hoping next week these will be up in my store. Um, I was one waiting to add them because I don't I'm not really gonna have the time to mail them if people buy them. Um, but these should be up in my store soon. So I'm gonna have um, I'll have my the cat is a lie ones and the rainbow paw and the cheers beer as well you thought the needle miter was part of the stitch <laughs> that's adorable I feel like you've been all over the it's around the world in twitch sphere enjoy your lurk a lurk okay i'm gonna finish this row and then i'm gonna take a quick potty break Time for bed. Oh, thank you so much for being here. Have a great sleep. Go get some good dreams. Rest well. Thank you so much for sharing your pretty birdies with us. If you guys ever pop anything into the creative channel on Discord while I am on, just let me know and we'll take a peek at it. Um, okay, you guys, I'm gonna take a quick potty break. You guys chill here. I will be right back. <laughs> 